Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Dineo Rasidile and today I'm actually very excited about this video because it's something different. It's something that I thought I should add to my channel. So about a week ago, I put out um, an acting tips video and I spoke about how important it is to watch more movies. And I noticed that I myself don't watch enough movies. I mean, lately I've been watching a lot of series. I've been watching a lot of reality which has become a guilty pleasure lately um but not enough movies so i thought i should add this little feature into my channel where i watch a movie and then i come back and i give you guys some interesting information some fun facts about the movie so this is not a review um i'm hoping that if you haven't watched the movies that i'll be um, sharing about that you will go watch them after watching my video and then you come back in the comment section and tell me what you thought about the movie and then we can take it from there but it's basically just sharing some interesting behind the scenes facts um some interesting facts about the movie itself what the movie is about and so on and so forth so before we get started i have my popcorn i have my soda let's check out the trailer So before we even start, I, I just want to rant, just like a short, quick Nyana rant. It is so difficult to find like information about South African productions online. Um, you know, just like be beyond your basic interview. <sighs> like, I don't even know what to tell you. So I initially wanted to start with another movie, right? A, a, a movie that I was so excited about. And then I went and I found all this really interesting information about it, behind the scenes stuff, in, info about the actors during production and so on. And then I thought, no, wait, let me, let me start off with a proudly South African movie. Like, if you're a blogger or you're like an entertainment journalist or whatever, please just save us because there is such a gap there is such a market for it you will literally find the exact same interview on like 10 different sites 10 different publications 
it's so boring so the winter to my skin came out in september of 2018 and i was actually curious as to like is it based on a true story is this like a fictional character or what is like what's what's the story so it turns out that this was based on the story of john kepe i hope i'm pronouncing that correctly john kepe in the eastern cape and this man was like an apartheid era robin hood type character who literally was like a legend and he was a stock thief so he would go and he would steal items from the Bur people the afrikaans people the colonizers he would go steal items from them and then he would go and redistribute the stuff to the poor and um, black and colored communities right so this would be items ranging from like over a hundred sheep to cooking utensils to clothes you name it okay and he went undetected hiding in the boschberg caves for just over a decade so it took just over a decade for them to finally get him so that's basically what the movie is about we're following the story of this man as he is like running and dodging these people so one thing i found quite intriguing and this i knew going into watching the movie i wonder how i would have responded if i didn't know like before watching it but there's no dialogue like they don't talk i mean they talk but like they don't talk so for like 95 percent of the movie there's literally no dialogue so they use um sounds you'll hear chanting you'll hear shouts you'll hear screams cries like sounds very ad lib vibes um but there isn't like dialogue in the entire movie and the movie is like an hour and a half i think long um and there's there's no dialogue i actually enjoyed that um because i don't mind um productions with minimal dialogue but here they use like sound and music in a very interesting way i think check it out let me know if you missed the dialogue or if you felt like in some places you would have preferred if there was a lot more verbal interaction but i i thought i thought the no dialogue thing worked out just fine yeah let's talk about the cost so i didn't know going into the movie i didn't know who was in the movie except obviously the staring of the movie his name is ezra mabengeza I actually do have the list here because I don't want to say people's names wrong. Yes, Ezra Mabeng is that. And he's like, he's, he plays the character of John Kepe. So, as the movie was going, I was actually very pleasantly surprised to see a lot of familiar faces. Um, I liked that. I think the way that the movie was shot, um, you mainly see Ezra in the entire movie. And then you get like, appearances from all these like brilliant actors so you have zolisa kaluva um you have brenda ngoli you have uh, mandy sanduna there's um who else is there that i'm forgetting book van black y'all book van black bonnie lemons i peter kurth guys there's like a whole bunch of all these familiar faces but they, there isn't like a lot of screen time for everyone. So I guess I understand why they wouldn't like promote the movie with all these people's names. Because now you'd expect to see a lot of Zolisa Kaluva. You'd expect to see a lot of Brenda Ngoli. But they have such little screen time. But when they appear and their scenes where they're there are just so beautiful. You know, if you've seen any of these performers, you know what brilliant actors they are. And so, like, you really want to know more about the other characters and how they tie into the story. But we're so focused on this guy and, you know, him getting away and whatnot. But, yeah, I was very ple pleasantly surprised to see this um, star that it cast and... I appreciated every single one of their scenes and their moments and what they brought and contributed to the film as a whole.
So this movie is so beautiful to look at, <laughs> like the cinematography and the location. So I was really just like taken by the locations. It's so beautiful. Like the locations are so beautiful. It reminded me of Five Fingers and um, Kingdom. Kingdom. What's the name of that movie? Forgotten Kingdom. Forgotten Kingdom. Um, just like the scenery, the panoramic views. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. Then I learned that 90% of the film was shot in Somerset East. Somerset, is it Somerset East? <laughs> and Cook House, where Kepe actually lived. It's so beautiful, you guys. Please check it out. If for anything else, just to see how beautiful South Africa is, go and watch um, So the Winter to My Skin. So in an interview with AfricaIsNowMag.com, he was asked how he prepared for his character, you know, because it's, it's a pretty intense, it's a pretty intense character to play. If you watch the movie, you'll see. Um, and he said he spoke to the Mpinga clan in spirit to thank them for the job and to ask them you know, how should he portray this man truthfully because there isn't a record of John Kepe, like there isn't much stuff that he could read from or watch or whatever. And so the Mpinga clan responded to him in spirit and they told him that he needs to uh, be clean. He needs to keep his vessel clean and then they will guide him from within to the character, right? And so this keeping his vessel clean entailed two years of no sex, two years of no alcohol and seclusion to the Eastern Cape and Cape Town. Yeah, but I have a lot of respect for the discipline of it and for the commitment, you know, so that he can truthfully portray this character. I have absolutely never heard of anything like this before. And I found it very interesting. That's why I'm like, I'd love to have coffee with this guy. He must tell me what happened for two years. I'm also very interested in what the de-rolling process was if he immersed himself into the character of John Kepe for an entire two years and involved the spirit for an entire two years. I'm interested as to like how the de-rolling process was after shooting the film because that must have been intense too. Overall, I, I thoroughly enjoyed the movie. It also has like a, a Western vibe to it. I love period pieces as well. So I definitely, definitely enjoyed it please do check it out if you haven't it is available on showmax that's where i watched it um check it out come back to the comment section let us know what you thought of the movie and yeah but i am I'm, I'm excited to share more movies with you guys and interesting facts about film in fact my next one my next please do like click the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you do not miss it because I'm like very excited to share that movie with you guys and all the information that I found about it. But that is it for me today. Thank you so much for hanging out once again. And everybody that has subscribed, thank you so much. I see you. I appreciate you. Our little family is growing. Um, but yeah, go out there. Please watch movies. Um, if, you, if there's any movie in particular that you'd like me to check out, hit me up in the comment section. Um, but otherwise, that is it for me today. And I will see you on the next video. Two years. And welcome. <clears throat> Truck. Done.